a piece of wire of length 40 centimeter is cut in, into two pieces. Okay, so you've got a wire, this is a wire, a 40 centimeter wire, and that is cut into two pieces. Okay, that's the first thing that is given. So let's draw a wire. Suppose we extend this. So let us go slowly. So this is a 40 centimeter wire. The length is 40 centimeters. Okay. One piece is bent to form a square, and while the other is bent to form an equilateral triangle. Okay, so let me draw an equilateral triangle. So this is an equilateral triangle. Okay. And you've got a square. <clears throat> you've got a square and an equilateral triangle. Okay, so you're making uh, both of them from this. Okay. And, okay. Find the length of the wire used for the square if the sum of the area of the two shapes is minimum. Okay, so wherever you have a question of minimum or maximum, uh, you should uh, uh, realize that that's, this is a question on differentiation. You want to minimize the area of the uh, sum of the, uh, you want to find the, we want to minimize the total area of the both the shapes. Okay. So <clears throat> let's start, say this is uh, an equilateral triangle. So let's say the length that you want is x each. So the total length of this is 3x. So say this is for, I don't know, so we are cutting here, somewhere here. So say this is 3x. So from this you're making the square and from this you're making the, sorry, from this you're making the equilateral triangle and from this part you're making the square. And the total length of the y is 40 centimeter. So this would be 40 minus 3x. Okay, so the area, say area of the square would be, uh, so this would be, okay, so what's the length of each side? You're making a square from this, so this you have to divide by 4. So if you divide 40 by 4, that is 10, and this is, and you, so let me do like this first so that you understand. So the sum of all the four sides is 40 minus 3x. So each side would be 10 minus 3 quarter x. So this is 10 minus 3 quarter x, and this would also be 10 minus 3 quarter x. Okay, so, uh, and, and if you add them, okay, so this will also be 10 minus 3x, and this is also 10 minus 3x. So the area would be 10 minus 3 quarter x, the whole squared. Okay, now, okay, so let's, and to find the area of this, what are we do, going to do? I'm going to drop a perpendicular from here, this point or this vertex to the base of this triangle. And you should be knowing that area of a triangle is base times height. So this is an equilateral triangle. So this angle is 60. Each of this angle is 60. This is also 60. Okay, we don't need that, so I think this is enough. Okay, so this is 60 because each of the angle is 60. And as, so these two triangles becomes a congruent triangle. So I can say this is x over 2, and this is also x over 2. Okay, so the two, uh, the base has been cut into two equal parts. I hope you understand the geometry of that. So, and I'll call this the height. So this is your base and this is your height. So using trigonometry, I can say, well, sine 60, sine 60 is uh, opposite of 60 is, the 60 angle is h, there is hypotenuse, sorry, not hypotenuse, your height over uh, using SOCATOA over X. So H is X sine 60. X sine 60. So the area of the equilateral triangle, so let me write A of the triangle T. T stands for the triangle, would be half times the base. The base is X and your height is X sine 60. 
x sine 60. Okay, so this is nothing but x squared over 2 times sine 60. So sine 60, you can use a calculator is, okay, let me show you this. First, you should, we are working in degrees here. So I should first look up for my settings. It should be degrees first. And then sine 60 would be 0.86. Okay, this is 0 0.8666. 0 0.866, the whole number. And I'm going to divide by 2. So, which is... Okay. I made a mistake here. I realize now. Uh, hopefully you can see the mistake. The base is not x here. The base is x over 2. The base is x over 2. For this triangle, your base is x over 2. So this will be x over 4. This would become x over 4. So sine 60. So let me show it again. So sine 60 is 0.866. And that I'm going to divide by 4, which is because of this 4, which is 0.2165 x squared. So the area of an equilateral triangle is 0 0.2165. You can, you can remember this formula if you want to. It's a good formula to remember in decimal. You can also write this in a better form, in a third form, but that can be a bit complicated. Okay, I'll come back to do the next part. I want you to do the next part yourself, if you can. So we saw that the area of this equilateral triangle is 0.2165 x squared and the area of this square is 10 minus 3 quarter x the whole squared. So the total area, so you can say t for total area, as a function of x, okay, would be uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.2165 x squared plus 10 minus 3 quarter x times 10 minus 3 quarter x. I'm just expanding this. So this is t as a function of x. If you expand this, okay, you will get, uh, you can do the expansion yourself. So th this is 0 0.2165 x squared. Uh, uh, 0 0.25 x squared. And if you expand this, you will get 100, uh, this would be 100 minus 9 uh, minus 15x. Mm. Okay, so let's expand this. This would be 100 minus 15x plus 9 over 16x squared. Okay, I hope you understand. So this is 30x over 4 minus 30x over 4, which is minus 60x over 4. That's how I got this. <clears throat> so 9 over 16, uh, and if you simplify the whole thing, your final answer would be t of x. If you find the decimal form of 9 over 16, and then add it with this, I can write t, a total area as a function of x is 0.779x squared minus 15x plus 100. So this is a function of, uh, this is the area, the total area of the square, equilateral triangle of the square and total area of the equilateral triangle and the square as a function of x. Okay, so now to find minimum area, so you can see a bit, but for minimum area, but for minimum, t dash x, or the derivative of that would be 0. So t dash x, or the gradient of this, would be drop, dropping this power down, would be 1.558x, minus 15 is equal to 0. Okay, so so now setting uh, 
or solving this for x, 1.558x one, 1 is equal to 15. So you can say x, if you divide both sides by 1.558, is 9.6, this is the whole number, 9.62773, 773, rounding it to five decimal places. Okay. Now the question is not to find x, you want to find the value of, uh, find the length of the y used for the square. So the y used for the square is 40 minus 3x, okay? So used for the square, we'll confirm this on a calculator, is 40 minus 3x. 40 minus 3x, and if you put, uh, if you use a calculator, your final answer in 2 dp is 11.12 centimeters. So let's confirm that at when x is 9.62773, you get the minimum area, the total of that. So, uh, so where is my calculator? So let me scroll this up. Okay, so. First, go to, uh, let me move this. My calculator is not working now. Okay. Okay, you can confirm this on a calculator. For some reason, this is not moving. Okay. No. Okay, it doesn't matter. You can graph this on a quadratic equation. Your maximum area would be 100. Okay. So let me move this. Hopefully, yeah, I will work now. Yes, it will work. So let me show you that. So your total area function, go to your graph and type in this equation, okay, which is 0.779x squared minus 15x plus 100. Now, by just looking at the equation, you should be able to say that the y-intercept is going to be 100. So I'm going to go, my y's, uh, I will go on x, I'll go from 0 to 20, say, okay? Because I know this is a quadratic equation and your y-intercept is going to be 100. So on y, I'll go from 0 to 120, the scale of, say, 10, and then draw it. So this is your, when x is 0, what you're going to get is the square. You get the maximum area, okay? And if you go g sol and uh, minimum, 9. Uh, 9.62773. And at that, you get the minimum area of the total of the square of the square and the equilateral triangle would be 27.79. And when x is zero, you get the uh, maximum area.